Have you ever heard someone say, that's a hazard? And then someone else reply, yeah, but what's the risk? Are they just using fancy words for the same thing? Nope. And understanding the difference could literally save your life. So stick around, because today we're breaking down the crucial difference between a hazard and a risk. Let's start with hazard. A hazard is anything that has the potential to cause harm. Think of it as the source of danger. A shark in the ocean? That's a hazard. A wet floor? That's a hazard. An exposed electrical wire? You guessed it, a hazard. It's the thing, the substance, the situation itself. It's just sitting there with the potential to ruin your day. It's a loaded gun on a table. Now let's talk about risk. Risk is the probability or likelihood of that hazard actually causing harm, combined with how severe that harm could be. It's about interaction, so a shark in the ocean is a hazard. But if you're standing on the beach miles away, the risk of a shark attack is practically zero. But if you decide to go swimming with a bleeding cut right next to that shark, the risk suddenly becomes extremely high. Risk is the chance of the loaded gun actually going off and hurting someone. So what's the key difference? It's simple. A hazard is a risk happens. A hazard is the what and the risk is the what if. Let's take another example. Working at height on a construction site is a hazard. The risk is the likelihood of falling and the severity of the injuries you'd get. A bottle of cleaning chemicals under your sink is a hazard. The risk is the chance of a child ingesting it and getting poisoned. One is the source of danger. The other is the chance of that danger becoming a reality. The relationship between them is direct. You can't have a risk without a hazard. No shark, no risk of a shark attack. No wet floor, no risk of slipping. They are two sides of the same safety coin. The hazard is the starting point, And the risk is the calculated possibility of a bad outcome. So why does this matter? Because we manage risks, not hazards. Sometimes we can't eliminate the hazard. We can't remove every single car from the road, right? That's a constant hazard. But we can control the risk. We wear seat belts, we obey speed limits, we install traffic lights, and we don't text and drive. These are risk control measures. At work, if a machine is noisy, the hazard, we can't always make it silent. But we can wear ear protection to reduce the risk of hearing damage. So next time you spot a potential danger, don't just see the hazard. Take a second to assess the risk. Ask yourself, what's the chance this could actually harm me or someone else and what can I do about it? Understanding this difference helps you make smarter, safer decisions every single day. Stay safe out there.